right y'all good morning welcome back it's a little after nine o'clock I uh, had to get the other mower and stuff loaded up this morning so uh, but we're out here I'm at the churchyard y'all seen this a couple of times but uh, not like it is today I don't think so thank y'all for taking the time to watch if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button leave me a like uh, out here today got my brother-in-law telling me he's on the deer I'm gonna jump on the Toro and do a little bit of this stuff up here in the front but look at this here nice bahia grass so it's that time of year this starts growing i'll actually start coming here once a week and keeping the front and everything except for the back corner back behind this building the big open area back there um we'll just get done every other week but the stuff around the buildings will get cut but this is what i'm dealing with this morning so gonna get this cleaned up may get some uh, point of view footage from the mower real time and uh let you see what it looks like when i'm done so stick around
probably best one thing with uh, this. Hang on one second. Good shot back across the yard there. But when you're dealing with some of this really tall bahia like this, it's probably best if you got a fairly sunny day to cut it and spread it out good and then let it dry and then it'll be a little easier to disperse than, than what I did here. This was a little wet, so uh, we'll move on. Maybe get a finished shot of the rest of the area. You can see it can, you can see this continues on down the side. And around we'll get some finished footage and let you see what it all looks like when we get done all right y'all so that's water finishing this one up uh my brother-in-law has got the blower and he's blowing it off so i'm gonna turn the camera around just uh real quick do a walk around show you what it looks like got it wrapped up and uh then we'll be on to the next one so, so we got the Toro here. Sorry, I'm trying to change my hands. Now the Toro, you can see we'll blow these off before I load them back up. Keep the grass from building up too much on them. There's a John Deere. My brother-in-law's over there blowing off. You see here, got it mowed. And pretty much this whole yard, anywhere I'm showing you, looks like the earlier footage uh, where I got some of the real-time mowing. So you can see this is a good size property here it goes all the way back to the tree line all the way over to the fence just just beyond that tree right there so it wraps around that way kind of goes around the shed and then on the back side of that house there's a an area of grass there and then it goes all the way to the road so over here I think I'm gonna have to get me a second blower so i can maybe at least a handheld blower to do some of this stuff down in between the buildings see all this here around behind the house there and that goes all the way out to the road trimmed it out with the FS94R with a Darwin grip edged with the FC96 straight shaft edger and uh, I don't know if I said it a while ago but uh, he's blowing off it's the BR600 blower so we got everything you can see edged and to blow a little more off right here across the front so On to the next one. Number two. It wraps around the back and over to the tree line back up the side so it's two down moving on all right so i'm gonna be push mowing this little bit here get a little bit of real time footage got the husqvarna push mower there using it so i've already cut around the edge of the pool here with it going to uh spray the pool top pool deck area um before we leave today and my brother-in-law, he's back there on the uh, Z-Track, finishing up the main part of the mowing. So, let's uh, hop to it on the Husqvarna. I think this is the L121P, I believe is the mower, or what this one is. So, we're going to just push mow this little area here. I've already uh, done the edging. 
So once I get it blowed off, I might do a quick walk around of this little area here just to get some finished up footage. And here we go. Good job. I believe this one's set on uh, two. It's on the second notch, which I believe is two. I think it's just in one inch increments, so it doesn't do the half increments like the Honda. Uh, don't know if you heard 
because of the mower noise when I was over there just pointing at the, the big wheels is just one thing that I like better about this particular mower versus the Honda but the Honda's a great mower I'm glad I got it it's a tank uh, cut some seriously thick stuff with it y'all seen me use it a few times but uh, this is a solid mower again I think it's the Husqvarna L 121P I think is the mower uh, it's a 21 inch push mower. I think it's 125 125 cc's something like that. So it's a little smaller engine the Honda. I think it's a 170 uh, But it does a good job you can see and I know y'all saw Hopefully it was in frame uh, right on the end. I was trying to get close to the edge and when I backed up uh, My wheel fell off the edge of the grass right here and you can see it kind of not scout well, scarred the grass a little bit there when it fell off, but uh, and about bogged it out. So, but I'm gonna get the weed eater out again. Got the the edge cut in. We'll get a better look at this once I get it blown off right before we leave. And uh, again, stick around. We'll get some more. All right. So y'all seen this in the video yesterday, but just. See, I got the trimming done around this stuff. Got the sidewalks edged up. See there, nice clean edges. Got everything blown off. So, got that wrapped up. Got this little area cleaned up with that pile of debris from the pruning. Got the edges and everything cleaned up. Y'all seen the push mowing over here. Everything's edged up around the pool. Got the truck running to cool off. You can hear it in the background maybe. I just gotta mix up some spray. And my brother-in-law while I was trimming and push mowing, got the rest of this mode back here with the Z-Track on two and a half. So, so this may be my last trip here. Uh, it's kind of a long story, but uh, not because of any service issues. Uh, some legal stuff going on. Don't know if uh, the people that are taking charge are going to want me to keep servicing the property. So the lady that was was communicating with me that's in charge uh that, that's not anymore is uh going to talk to the people and let them know and see if they want to retain services so we'll see how that goes but uh yep that's the last one or last trip here possibly for the next little while so hope y'all enjoyed it and uh on to the next one well, all right here is the next one of the day got to go to one more up here but you can see uh, they went a little excessive with the side i think the property line is somewhere about right here kind of goes straight towards that tree but this was cut on three it goes down and wraps around the back and this is the other side i uh, did some push mowing up around the bed areas and in between like these little strips and up against the house and then out here in the main stretch just uh, run over it with the John Deere and then spread it back out it's cut on again three inches so that's the next one we got one more to go to and uh, we'll wrap it up maybe get some footage on that one too last one of the day y'all my brother-in-law's on the mower and we'll get the weed eater out. This is the Mr. Gerald's favorite yard, the lake house up here. So I see the customer had some mulch put in. Got it looking good. There you are, Mr. Gerald, your favorite thing. Personal watercraft trailers. So get this cut, show you what it looks like when it's done. Not much to see here. Y'all seen it before. Got it cleaned. Cleaned up. It's 
cut on two and a half. Nice edge. And hopefully this turns out okay. Got the back cut, thinned out. And that's the end of the day. We'll wrap it up shortly. All right, y'all, real quick, hop back in the truck, fixing to head home. So we got five or six done today, I believe it was. There was, seen the first couple, pretty good size. Uh, the ones we had to finish up the one big lawn, so that may be the last time I'm there. I don't know, we'll see. And uh, the church and the other lawn that we did. So pretty good day overall, a lot of traveling. Um, I think it's 100 and something miles that we drove on top of that um, all together. But I uh, got them knocked out, made a good day of it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Had some uh, real time footage with the push mower and a few other things. So, just gonna close this one out and uh, hope y'all enjoyed it once again. Thank y'all for taking the time to watch. Thank y'all for the ones that have subscribed. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, leave me a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you think. And uh, y'all be safe, be kind, be blessed. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.